teaching at Noble is really collaborative and organized, and all of the pieces are lined up for you to make sure that you're only that their number one responsibility is the learning of students. Our support system really allows us to just be, be teachers and not have to worry about uh, managing a classroom or not having to worry about, well, am I going to have the support from my principal uh, in doing this initiative and that initiative? Those systems alleviate the teachers in, in a sense because these are in a way best practices of systems school-wide that have worked Teachers walk in with kind of a toolbox of things to use. And so that unifying factor, I think, is very appealing to teachers that may have had the feeling that they need to kind of create everything. And so in that sense, because it alleviates those fundamental systems, then again, they could focus just on their content. I think at Noble, the system in general values the autonomy and the creativity of the individual. So when you come to teach at Noble, you don't get a prescribed lesson plan or a prescribed unit plan or a course plan. It's essentially the message is you are the professional and here are tons of resources to help you be good at your job and we're going to support you to ensure that you're able to achieve high academic results for students. For a teacher it's liberating to know you're not confined to, to teaching one way, one style, given one curriculum, you know, you kind of have those options. So having the autonomy to impact students' lives both in the classroom, the way you see fit, granted as long as the, the data suggests that you're doing a good job, as well as outside of the classroom, um, is, is really, really, really beneficial. Autonomy is, is very much so encouraged. If you have an idea, you think it's going to work, you present it and, and, and you do it. And if it works, then others will uh, come and they'll say, hey, what did, you, what, did you, what did you do? How did you do that? And I think that that, that that way of teachers really elevating themselves and being able to teach their content and not being micromanaged uh, could really entice someone to come and work here. I genuinely think that what's challenging is also what's rewarding about working here. And so I think the challenges are the reward because through the challenges, you're able to see so much personal growth. Uh, I, I love to see students set, up, set themselves up for habits they need long term to succeed. And I love to see that really start to get root. And when students start doing really small interactions consistently over time and then they start realizing that oh man like my I'm a better student because of this and I can do really well in my math class with the same set of habits and I can do really well next year with the same set of habits and, the, and it starts to click that if I'm just consistent and if I work hard and I'm nice to the people around me by and large some good things are going to happen. Well I teach a self-contained class and one of my students transferred in and he was at another um, high school in the city and uh, he came to this school and his mom was so happy and so proud of him that his, his attitude changed from hating school and not ever wanting to get out of bed to now he can't, uh, he can't wait to get to school in the morning. And that moment made me really, really proud as a teacher that I created an environment in which he loves to come to school. Seeing the students walk across the stage at graduation is one of the most amazing feelings. I can't even describe it. It's just this moment of joy and happiness and for a lot of students they're the first ones in their family to even graduate high school and then they're accepted into a four-year college and they're just amazed and in awe that they did it and that all their hard work paid off and so as a teacher just standing and watching them walk across the stage at graduation is the most amazing feeling in the world. I've graduated in advisory and to see them get their college acceptance letters and to see them open up their scholarships and to see them cry um, because they received a 25 or a 26 or a 28 on an ACT when they came in at a 12 or an 11 or some of them a 10, it's just an awesome and most like rewarding thing. I wake up every morning because I know that no matter what, some student that day is going to get it. Every day something good happens here at Noble and I think it has a lot to do with the high expectations that we hold of students and it helps them really reach that bar. Once you hold that bar high enough, they know that you're going to push them to it and when they reach it, they're so excited and you're so excited. Um, so I think just knowing that all of the work that you put in is really going to pay off and you'll see it here at Noble.